Good morning mga kamatatag! Ikaw ba'y isang estudyanteng nahihirapan sa mathematics? Well, ang video na ito ay sadyang nilikha para mas maintindihan ninyo ang ilang mga konsepto patungkol sa math. Pero, bago mo panoorin ang mga susunod na video, huwag mong kalimutang i-like, share, subscribe, at huwag mong kalimutang pindutin ang kampanang maliit diyan sa baba ng inyong screen upang ikaw ay mabigyan ng notification sa bawat video na aking i-upload. Enjoy learning! Good morning mga kamatatag! And welcome nga sa ating uh, channel na to. Kung ikaw again ay bago nakapanood ng mga video natin, huwag mong kalimutang i-like, share and subscribe, and click the notification bell to get updated of the math videos na ating i-upload. Okay? So, ang pag-aaral natin sa linggong ito or sa video na to is what we call deriving a quadratic equation given the sum and the product of its roots. So, in our previous video, na pag-aralan natin paano mahanap yung sum and product of its roots. Okay? Binigay yung quadratic equation. Now, this time, pabalik. Binigay yung sum and product. Ang hanapin natin is yung quadratic equation. Okay? So, let's proceed. So, a quadratic equation in standard form can be derived given the sum and product of its roots by following this process. Okay, so ito, yan yung derivation kung paano natin nahanap yung ating formula ng sum and product of the roots. Okay? So, ang susundan natin ngayon na formula para mahanap natin yung equation gamit yung sum and product ay itong nasa baba. This one. Okay? So, remember that. Ahanapin natin yung equation gamit yung formula na to na ang binigay is sum and product of the roots. Okay? So, recite muna natin yung formula. We have x square minus root 1 plus root 2 times x plus r1 times r2 equals 0. Okay? So, example. Find a quadratic equation in standard form whose roots have the given sum and product respectively. So, number 1, our sum is 4 and our product is 12. Okay, so, so let's watch we're going to solve or find a quadratic equation in standard form whose roots have the given sum and product respectively. So in our problem number one, this one is the product, is the sum, and this one is the product. So what we're going to do is to find the equation, which the only given is the sum and the product of the roots. Okay? So in the previous part of this video, pinakita natin kung paano nakuha yung formula to find the sum of uh, the roots and uh, the product of the roots. So, kung babalikan natin, we're gonna show you again. We have the standard form of the quadratic equation. Okay? I hope memorize natin yan. So, this is the standard form of the quadratic equation. And we're going to uh, divide both sides of the equation by A. So, both equations by A. Okay? So, let's divide this by A. Let's just A. Okay? So, cancel. I have x squared plus p over a times x plus c over a equals 0. Okay? 
And this term, we can express that as um, minus the negative of BA times X plus C over A equals zero. Okay? So, again, sabi ko nga sa uh, previous part ng video na to, nakita natin kung paano din arrive yung formula to find the, the sum and product of the roots. So, itong part na to, this one, yan yung ating formula to find the sum. And this one is the roots. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung ito yung sum ng roots natin, ibig sabihin, ito, okay? So, this one, can I erase yung nasa taas? We have x square minus p over a x plus c over a equals 0. Okay? So, yan yung ating equation. Ito ay sum. Ito naman ay product. Okay? So, kung ito ay sum, ibig sabihin, yan ay x square minus yung ating roots na dalawa. Okay? x plus ito yung ating product. So, root 1 and times root 2. Okay? Kasi gagamitin natin ito mamaya para mahanap natin yung equation kapag yung binigay ay sum lang at saka uh, product. Okay? So, solve na natin. So, tandaan natin to. Again, I have x square minus root 1 plus root 2 times x plus root 1 times root 2. Okay? Okay, sabi natin ito ay product, ito ay sum. So, given the sum in the product, I have x square, ito daw ay sum, okay? So, it means that 4, kasi nga r1 plus r2, ito na yung sagot 4. So, we substitute the value 4 here. Okay, times x plus Again, this is the product, so we're going to substitute that here. 12. Okay? So, yun, equals 0. So, let's multiply. This x squared minus 4x plus 12 was 0. So, this is now the quadratic equation with the sum of the roots 4 and product of the roots as 12. Okay? So, ito yung pinaka-importante ngayon. Nagamitin natin. Okay? So, that's number 1. We're going to solve number 2 problem. So, number 2, yung sum natin is 1, 6. Yung ating product is negative 1, 6. So, both are negative. Again, this is the sum. This is the product. Okay? So, our equation na ginamit natin kanina is x squared minus R1 plus R2 times X plus R1 times R2, which is the product, was 0. 
Okay, so product natin is negative 1, 6. It means I have x squared minus negative 1, 6 times x. The negative 1, 6, yan. Dito yan galing. Plus negative 1, 6 equals 0. Let's multiply. So negative, negative. I have positive, right? So x squared plus negative times negative positive times x. That's negative x. Or positive x, rather, over 6. Plus, so here, positive and negative, I have negative 1, 6 equals 0. Okay, so para may iwasan natin yung fraction sa ating quadratic equation, let's multiply this whole equation by 6 in denominator nila para mawala yung fraction. So, 6 times x square, I have 6x square plus 6 times 1x, 6x divided by 6, x na lang, or cancel, x na lang na yung 1. Minus 6 times 1, 6 divided by 6 is 1 equals 0. And this is now the equation with the sum negative 1, 6 and product of negative 1, 6 of the roots. Okay? So, yun yung pagkuha ng quadratic equation kapag yung binigay ay sum and product. So, pinaka-importante is 1. Para hindi natin makalimutan. Right? Right, so yan ay kung paano natin hinanap yung ating equation gamit ang sum and product of the roots. Okay, so let's proceed. So this time, we're going to find the quadratic equation. Binigay naman yung solution. Okay, yung next na problem ay binigay yung solution tapos hanapin natin yung equation. Okay, sa mga previous lesson natin, binigay yung equation, hahanapin natin yung roots or yung solution. So this time, uh, binigay yung roots, we're going to find the equation. Okay, so the given roots are 4 and 5. Okay, so may dalawang method akong ituturo, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano hahanapin yung equation kapag binigay yung roots. So, the first one is gamit pa din yung ating sum in product kanina. Yan. R1 plus R2 times X plus R1 times R2 plus 0. So, this is the per first method. Okay? Then, we're going to substitute here. So, x squared minus 4 plus 5 x plus 4 times 5, that's multiplication, or 0. Then, x squared minus 9x plus 20 equals 0. So, this is now our quadratic equation. Okay? So, pinahitan lang natin yung dalawang roots, 4 plus 5, sum, then product, 4 times 5. So, 4 times 5, 20, 4 plus 5, 9. Okay? So, yun yung unang way. Yung isang process naman ay pabalik. Okay? Meron tayong dalawang roots. Ibig sabihin niyan ay x equals 4. Yung isa, x equals 5. Okay? So, pabalik tayo ngayon. Babalik natin sa kabila. Babalik din natin to. 
So x minus 4 um, equals 0. So be the x minus 5 equals 0. Okay? Then, papag multiply natin itong dalawa. Nung kang x minus 4 times x minus 5 equals 0. Tapos, foil method na lang. Okay? So, x times x or distribute na lang natin. It's x square. x times negative 5 negative 5x negative 4 times x is negative 4x negative 4 times negative 5 positive 20 equals 0 so we have x we have x square minus negative 5 minus 4 9x plus 20 equals 0 so yun yung isang way Okay. Right, so that's the end of our video for this uh, segment. Again, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to share, like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell to get updated of our video. Happy learning!